Big Bear Lake was inhabited by the indigenous Serrano people for over 2,000 years before it was explored by Benjamin Wilson and his party. Once populated by only the natives and the grizzly bears, from which the area received its name, the population of Big Bear Valley grew rapidly during the Southern California Gold Rush from 1861 to 1912. Grizzly bears were no longer found in the region after 1908. Today, however, there are black bears in the region since the introduction in 1933, and they are sometimes sighted in the residential areas. A trip to Big Bear Lake from San Bernardino took two days on horse-drawn coaches. Kirk Phillips was a local who took a trip to New York City and saw the world's first bus line. This inspired him to create the world's second bus line from San Bernardino to Big Bear Valley using white trucks with several rows of seats. This made it possible for the villages to grow and for the Big Bear Lake to become the first mountain recreation area in Southern California. Many people have traveled to enjoy recreation on the lake. However, another major draw was the natural hot spring. Emil Jusserin bought 40 acres of land that included the hot spring and built the first major resort in Big Bear, the Pan Hot Springs Hotel, in 1921. This resort was followed by others and strove to be the best by creating a country club atmosphere, complete with the amenities required to lure Hollywood celebrities of the time. By 1924, Big Bear was populated with 44 resorts and a constant stream of vacationers. The Pan Hot Springs Hotel, like many of the other resorts and hotels in Big Bear, was extensively damaged by a fire in 1933. For Hollywood's film industry, the area has also been a popular place for shooting on location since the silent era. In late 1915, Universal Studios filmed there for its three-reel production of John O. the Mountains. The 1920 version of The Last of the Mohicans was filmed there as well, as were some of the scenes for the 1936 film Daniel Boone, Gone with the Wind, and 20th Century Fox's 1960 film North to Alaska, Disney's Old Yeller, and the 1969 musical film Paint Your Wagon, the 1983 movie War Games, and the 1985 dark comedy Better Off Dead. Many television series have filmed sequences there too, including the opening sequences for the 1969 NBC children's program H.R. Puffin Stuff. Winter activities were also popular in Big Bear. The first ski jump in Big Bear was erected in 1929 and quickly claimed the world ski jump record. More jumps were built in Big Bear Lake and the Viking Ski Club of Los Angeles began to use them for competition and events. The move to a winter resort town was solidified in 1952 when Tommy Tyndale opened a resort in Big Bear Lake, now known as Snow Summit. In some winters, the area gets little snow, but snow machines will keep the resorts in business. In summer of 1968, Caltech began construction of the Big Bear Solar Observatory, located in the north shore of the Big Bear Lake. Due to extensive rain and snow, the lake rose several feet around BBSO, and it was surrounded by water at the time of construction, which was completed using makeshift barges in May of 1970. BBSO, now operated by the New Jersey Institute of Technology, is still in use for Big Bear Lake landmark connected to the north shore by the Dirt and Rock Causeway. Since 1970, Big Bear Lake has also held its annual Oktoberfest, which is the highest beer garden by elevation in the United States. Big Bear Lake was incorporated as a city on November 28th of 1980. During the 1990s, the city became famous as a training spot for boxing champions. Oscar De La Hoya, Mike Tyson, Fernando Vargas, Gennady Golovkin, and Shane Mosley are among the famous boxers who have trained in Big Bear. In February of 2013, a major manhunt occurred in Big Bear Lake area to find Christopher Dorner, who at that point had killed three people. The standoff ended in the nearby Angeles Oaks. The nearby Big Bear City's first inhabitants were the Serrano Indians, who traced their beginnings to Bear Valley. Serrano means mountaineers, or those of the Sierras. The Serrano people that settled much of the San Bernardino Mountains called themselves the Yuha Vietam, or the People of the Pines. It is estimated that the Serrano natives first settled Big Bear between 1500 and 2000 years ago. The Serranos had both winter and summer settlements throughout the area. While their winter village was located in Lucerne Valley, they relocated the villages into the San Bernardino Mountains during the summer, as the altitude provided cooler temperatures. Villages were often located by rivers and lakes, however the mountain hunting camps were also established at higher elevations. Besides hunting, they also consumed pinion nuts, mesquite beans, screw beans, juniper beetles, and seeds. One of the four major Serrano ethnographic sites was located in Big Bear City, called the Kaya Plati, Big Bear and the Lucerne Valley clans. Both belong to the same tribe, the Coyote Pervetum. Settling here because of the region's many natural resources, they harvested acorns, herbs, but also hunted deer, rabbit, and other wildlife. A number of mortar holes can be seen in Big Bear City. These holes were made by the Serranos. They were utilized to ground acorn into meals. The oldest known remains of a human settlement in Big Bear Valley can be seen at the Indian grinding rocks in Big Bear City called the Eye of God, which was a sacred site to the Serrano people. The Serrano's creation narrative took place in the Eye of God, which was known as the Hatauga. 
The earliest known contact with European settlers in Big Bear occurred when the Spanish father Francisco Garcés arrived during the 1774-1776 expedition. But another source will state that the first contact happened in 1845 during a punitive expedition against the Native Americans. This has been a brief history of Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City, California. All information available on the Wikipedia page made publicly online.